advocacy for AMT. I'm bringing you the Daily Minute from Northern Virginia live this Friday, October 16th, 2020. Welcome to my cluttered home office. Can I just start by saying TGIF? It has been another incredible, busy, and dramatic week in Washington. Starting with the Senate, the Senate Judiciary Committee began hearings on the confirmation of Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the United States Supreme Court. Despite stiff opposition from Democrats on the speed of the process, Judge Barrett will indeed be confirmed the 115th justice to sit on the Supreme Court, and it will definitely happen before Election Day, most likely October 26th. Elsewhere, a lot of you are asking or wondering, will there or won't there be another round of coronavirus stimulus? Will it happen before election day? Will it happen after election day? Really at this point, will it happen at all? Well, I have to say, unfortunately, negotiators are still far apart, but it did seem like this week, the gap was narrowing a little. As far as AMT and what we're advocating for, we're basically advocating for two provisions to be included in whatever package would reach the president's desk for signature. First, the Paycheck Protection Loan Program, commonly known as PPP. When the program expired at the end of July, it had about $130 billion in unused funds. ANT supports making those unused funds available immediately and adding additional funds as needed throughout the pandemic to help shore up those small businesses still struggling to, to survive. Secondly, liability protection for businesses against frivolous lawsuits exploiting the pandemic. It does happen. Well, this provision would protect small businesses that comply with the law and do everything in their power to protect their workers from getting the coronavirus at work. And it would protect only those small businesses that comply with the law. Where are we at this point? Well, the president introduced a $1.8 trillion package this week. Uh, so far, the Democrats have not budged on their more expensive proposal, even though Speaker Nancy Pelosi is under extreme pressure to move a little bit in the president's direction. In the Senate, however, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said he would not put the president's proposal even up for a vote on the Senate floor because it is too expensive. So McConnell is preparing his own bill, a pared down $500 billion proposal um, that he plans to introduce next week, and it will be focused solely on the Paycheck Protection Program. Now, these back and forths have been happening from all sides basically since the beginning of this summer, and frankly, I think voters are just about fed up with it. They get close to a deal, and the next day they're as far apart as they can be. And with the clock running out, it's really hard to imagine a large package um, getting to the president's desk before election day. I'm sorry to be the bearer of that bad news. But speaking of election day, the good news is that election day is November 3rd. That's only 18 days away. And I've got to say, I'm urging everybody out there to use their voice and vote this year. I can say I'm proud that I voted at home by mail. So that's it on the news from Washington this week. Um, I do appreciate your attention. Have a great weekend and I hope to see you very soon. Thank you very much.